This tablet is completely independent and doesn't need to plug into a computer or a laptop to work. Made by Simbons, the Picasso Tab is a 10-inch tablet computer designed for hobby artists and art students. If you're not familiar with tablet computers, they're basically giant phones. This one runs on the Android system. The downside to the giant phone thing is you can only install apps to draw with. You're not going to get a full version of Photoshop or Sai or Toon Boom on here. The upside is there are tons of good free apps for drawing on the Google Play Store, plus all of the other apps and games you might want for work or for fun. Let's get the stats up on screen. Professional artists will find the Picasso Tab Pen's low pressure sensitivity limiting. This style of artwork is especially hard to make, and I'm using an example I drew with a different tablet. Sketchy art styles like this are much easier to do. If you're a professional, you're probably only going to use the Picasso Tab for sketching. Turn the sketches into final artwork on a desktop computer. Let's go over how to set up the Picasso Tab, then show some of its features and my experience drawing with it. You get the tablet, a really nice case that doubles as a tablet stand, a pen with a quadruple A battery inside, extra battery, pin for opening the SD card slot, drawing glove, USB charging cable, and end, European power converters, quick start manual. There are no extra pen nibs, so you may want to order some because that tip will wear down over a year of heavy drawing. When you open the package, the tablet screen might be smudgy from storage and shipping like mine. Use a dry microfiber cloth to wipe it off, or use one of these. No regular towels or cleaning sprays on computer monitors. The tablet has a screen protector already on it. Do not peel this off. If over time you scratch the protector a bunch, you can remove it and replace the protector with a new one. Before you use the Picasso tab, you're supposed to fully charge it, and that takes about four hours. Plug the USB cable into the tablet side, plug the USB end into the wall charger, and then plug that into the wall. You can charge it with just the USB end, but it's slower than the wall charger. You can also use the USB cable to transfer files to your computer. If you're in Europe, close the wall charger and slide whichever outlet you need onto the end. It takes some hard force to get the converter off once it's on, but it will come off. The USB cable is quite short, so it can be challenging to find a place to put the tablet while it's charging or transferring files. After it's charged on plug, press and hold the power button to turn on. The first time you might have to try this a couple times with different lengths of pressing and hold. If it still won't turn on after a bunch of pressing and releasing, go to the back of the tablet and put the pin it came with in the reset hole. Then charge the tablet all over again and go from there. Sign into your wireless internet and pick your settings. Sign in with your Google account or create a new one. You might be able to avoid having one, but it's easier to just give in. And welcome to the default wallpaper. <laughs> yep. The very first thing you want to do now is update all of the apps on the tablet. If you don't do this, a lot of things aren't going to work right. So with your finger, flick down along the top of the screen for quick settings. You need to be connected to the internet. If you're not, press the first button along the top to connect. Once connected, you'll see a message, X number of updates available. Select it, update all. And now you're all set. The Picasso tab is fully rotatable. To use the SD card slot, use the pin the tablet came with and put it in the hole. There's also a spot for headphones and a micro HDMI port. The case is really awesome. Slide the tablet in power button side first and secure it by pushing the Velcro strap back inside the case. There's a holder for the pen on the side. Magnetic closures on the flap corners keep it shut. Turn the case into a tablet stand by pushing the flap edge into the tab. The tablet rotates so you can prop it up either way, and I didn't realize it until later, but right now my tablet is upside down. Stand it up on the other edge. The Picasso tab works with your fingers and with a digital pen. It has palm rejection so it knows when you're using the pen and stops your hand from painting on the screen. That's the theory anyway. I find with any touch screen, it can still be a hassle to draw without activating touch functions. That's why a lot of drawing apps let you turn on a pen drawing mode so only the pen is allowed to draw. The tablet's battery drains faster depending on what you're doing. I installed everything and drew with screen recording on for about six hours to get the battery down to 30%. During that time, the tablet didn't even get hot. As for the battery in the pen, it should last a few months before you need to screw the end of the pen off and replace it with a new battery. 
you can draw and look at reference images or watch videos or take notes at the same time with split screen. Press and hold the square button for split screen. Now, because it's an Android system, all of your programs will probably come from the Google Play Store. When you first use the tablet, it has Autodesk Sketchbook installed. You need to make a free account to get the full version, and I found it to be a versatile drawing program with a lot of tools and brush options. But if you don't like it, or if it's too complicated, or it keeps crashing on you, go to the Google Play Store and pick from the many, many choices. You can find reviews of what apps are the best ones to try by searching online. I tried out Adobe Sketch and found that the line control was way better than Autodesk Sketchbook, but the brush options are a lot more limited unless you make your own. I noticed some people saying they experience lag in weird situations like trying to draw tiny lines while zoomed in, but the only time I had any lag was when I ran a screen recording app while trying to draw. Without screen recording, I put down 15 layers of various types and still wasn't getting lag. Lag can be related both to the app and the tablet's hardware, so maybe try a different app if it becomes an issue. Overall, this tablet is great for sketching, and if you end up getting one, you'll become good enough with it to make finished pieces of art. The Picasso tab's real strength is its portable, no computer needed independence. If you don't have a laptop or computer but want to draw digitally, this is the only tablet I've reviewed so far that will work for you. For more drawing tool reviews, visit the episodes page of scribblekibble.com and click the product reviews button.